Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Shadi Aqeed. The President of the UN General Assembly, Maria Fernanda Espinosa, hailed the initiative of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa that was adopted by the Assembly to declare the 5th of April of every year as the International Day of Conscience with the support to state members to foster the spirit of its conscience by the international community in order to uphold peace, human rights, dignity and sustainable development. She noted that by adopting the resolution under the title Promoting a Culture of Peace with Love and Conscience, the state members have drawn attention towards the interlinkages between three pillars of the UN, peace and security development and human rights. The President of the General Assembly welcomes the declaration of 5th April as the International Day of Conscience by Member States, which took place last Thursday. By adopting Resolution A-73-L-102, slash slash titled Promoting a Culture of Peace with Love and Conscience, Member States have drawn attention to the interlinkages between the three pillars of the UN, of peace and security, development, and human rights, and their interlinked and mutually reinforcing nature. The day of 5th April, from now on, provides an opportunity for the international community to promote peace, tolerance, inclusion, understanding, and solidarity in order to build a sustainable world of peace, solidarity, and harmony. The PJ welcomes this initiative of the Prime Minister of Bahrain, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, supported by member states, in fostering the spirit of conscience by the international community in order to uphold peace, human rights, and dignity and sustainable development. Mrs. Spinoza believes that the declaration is also timely as the UN will commemorate the 20th anniversary of the adoption of the Declaration and Program of Action on a Culture of Peace during the High Level Forum on 13 September this year. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a letter from the Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa in which he congratulated His Royal Highness on the United Nations adoption of his initiative by declaring the 5th of April as the International Day of Conscience. The minister noted that it embodies His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's great efforts and prestigious international status in the humanitarian, national and developmental fields as one of the most prominent global leaders recognized for pioneering achievements. He noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain has many national and international achievements made by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, who has established his high status at international and global forums, affirming that His Royal Highness is a source of pride for the Kingdom. Sheikh Khalid described the initiative of the Premier as a historical achievement and hailed his unlimited support of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and its efforts inside and outside Bahrain to highlight the Kingdom's successes achieved by His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness also added that the Prime Minister is an example of patriotism, praying to Allah to bless His Royal Highness with lasting good health to continue serving the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Ghaibiyya Palace, the Chairman and members of Bahrain Bar Society Board of Directors, as well as a number of lawyers, where His Royal Highness was briefed on the lawyers lawyer's rather vision to develop the law profession and enhance its role in serving the Kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed that the government's continuous keenness on developing the law and legislation system in line with the latest approaches and global regulations. His Royal Highness asserted that the government's support to the law profession to develop its message of defending laws and justice. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted that the Kingdom takes pride in its flexible and legal system. He directed the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment to study the suggestions and visions of lawyers to develop their performance and overcome obstacles, affirming that the government is keen on facilitating their work. His Royal Highness hailed the lawyers' national service, highlighting their remarkable expertise and high competency. He noted the vital role of Bahrain Bar Society in developing the law profession and achieving the aspirations of its members affirming the government's support to the society in achieving their goals. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister discussed with the attendees the bar law in accordance with the requirements of the era to achieve the aspirations of lawyers and the public interest. He noted the efforts of the legislative authority in discussing and passing laws that serve the interests of various community categories. 
His Royal Highness stressed that any law related to a segment of society is discussed and the views of all sides are reviewed. For his part, the chairman of the Bahrain Bar Society Board of Directors, Hassan Ahmed Bedewi, affirmed that the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister embody His Royal Highness's keenness on following up on the various requirements of society and on supporting them in performing their duties in comfort. He said that the support of the government led by His Royal Highness to the law profession and society increases its efforts to achieve the requirements of justice, hailing His Royal Highness's interest in listening to the lawyer's request and his response in issuing directives to the concerned bodies to swiftly respond to them. He expressed thanks and appreciation on the occasion of the UN adoption of the initiative to declare the 5th of April of every year as the International Day of Conscience, asserting that the advancement Bahrain achieved was a result of His Royal Highness's efforts. The chairman of Bahrain Bar Society Board of Directors presented His Royal Highness with a commemorative gift in appreciation for his continuous support to the law profession.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held yesterday his weekly majlis at Rafah Palace. Members of the royal family, senior government officials, members of the Shura Council and Council of Representatives, members of municipal councils, religious and community leaders, journalists and diplomats attended the majlis. His Royal Highness welcomed the broad range of visitors at the weekly majlis, which demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to rooted traditions and values that are underpinned by His Majesty's aspirations to maintain a strong bond amongst Bahrain society. The majlis visitors extended their appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness for hosting the majlis and emphasized the important role His Royal Highness plays in advancing sustainable development to guarantee prosperity and opportunity for the people of Bahrain.
Under the patronage of Royal Guard Commander His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Guard organized a specialized military session graduation in the presence of the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force, His Highness Lieutenant Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the participation of brotherly UAE Armed Forces affiliates. The event began with a recitation from the Holy Quran, followed by a brief presentation about the theoretical and practical stages of training. His Highness the Commander delivered graduation certificates and appreciation prizes to the high achievers. He also congratulated the participants on their successful graduation, wishing them constant success. The Deputy Commander of the Royal Guard, Major General Hamad Khalifa Naimi, was also present. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, extended the sincere condolences of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the friendly government and people of India on the demise of the former, rather former External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj. This came during the visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs to the Indian Embassy in Bahrain to offer his condolences. The Minister expressed deepest condolences to the family of the deceased and to the people of India, recalling her contributions in enhancing the Kingdom's historical relations with India on various levels, as well as her honourable stances towards regional and international issues which contributed to the enhancement of the relations of the two friendly countries.